On May 25, 1988, Richard Kuklinski was convicted of multiple murder and sentenced to life imprisonment. This ended 30 years of cold-blooded killing by a master criminal police called the Iceman. Nothing haunts me. Nothing. I don't think about it. If I think about it, it would wind up hurting me. So I doubt. I don't think about it. If I had a choice, I would like to be different than what I am. It would be better. But I can't change yesterday. I didn't like my father. He would beat me just because uh, he felt like it, to get my attention, I guess. And my mother was cancer. She would destroy everybody. When I was a young man, I found out that if you hurt somebody, they'll leave you alone. Good guys do finish last. When I tried to leave everybody alone, just do my own thing, everybody just wanted to hurt me. But to their surprise, I was no longer taking the beating. I was giving it. And that's when I learned that it was better to give than to receive. I got into a fight in a bar. We got into an argument, a fight, and I hit him with a with a cue stick a few too many times. And he died. I was upset. I didn't mean to do it, actually. But surprisingly, I felt sadness, and after a while, I felt something else. Some sort of a rush that I had control, and if you mess with me, I'll hurt you. I didn't have the capability of getting a better paying job. I couldn't have afforded one child, let alone three. So I told him he could have a half hour to pray to God. And if God could come down and change the circumstances, he'd have that time. But God never showed up, and he never changed the circumstances. And that was that. It wasn't too nice. That's one thing I shouldn't have done that one. I shouldn't have done it that way. If I hit somebody, I wouldn't hit it for peanuts. I'd, I'd like to have some, some money. I enjoyed that way of life. I felt I had achieved something. I tried to provide the best for them as I knew how. Might not have been the right way to go, but it was for me the only way. I tried to never let anything touch the house. I brought nobody there. My family was not exposed to anybody. I wanted to show them the good side of life. It was a Jekyll and Hyde existence. The way it was, the way I wanted it to be, was absolutely two different, two different lives. I wanted one life. I had to have. Kuklinski is one of the most dangerous criminals we have ever come across in this state. He did all of this at the same time while exhibiting a normal, placid family existence.